Hello friends, thanks for watching our travel videos on our YouTube channel and subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate your support. We started our channel in 2022 mainly because we wanted to archive our travel over the last 20 years blending with some new videos that we are traveling for as we are starting a new series on Queensland. In this series we are blending our old videos with the new videos. We have traveled to Queensland, Brisbane and Gold Coast. So we had done some videos in Gold Coast, the view of the city. We had a city tour on the city hopper on Brisbane River. We are going to share all of these in this series. A few years back we visited SeaWorld in Gold Coast and we had some encounter with uh, sea lions and dolphins so we will be sharing that uh, archive video as well with you in this series. Starting off each video we are adding a new location, a beautiful location of Hobart as a background just to show you where we live and the beautiful city of Hobart. So for today's video I'm at St. David's Park in Hobart. It's very near to the city center of Hobart. St. David's Park is just beautiful all year around. It's winter time as you can see that there is not many leaf around in our background we have this beautiful magnolia tree full of flowers it is always a beautiful place while we go for morning walk or evening walk St. David's Park always fascinated us over the last 10 years. And in my background that sandstone building is Tasmanian Supreme Court uh, from Cairns in Queensland. We took a day trip to Great Barrier Reef, the largest barrier reef in the world, uh, Australian Great Barrier Reef. And you need to take a ferry from Cairns and then you go to Great Barrier Reef. It's like about two hours cruise that you need to do. Oh my God, that was a horrible day. It was like four meters swelling and that ferry was a small ferry and it's a tourist boat basically. And we had a horrible experience. But once we reached there, it was life changing experience it was just fascinating we had a glass bottom experience a glass bottom boat tour that we took and then there was a submerged submarine tour that we took and also first time we did snorkeling during our stay in Cairns we also did a day trip to Cape Tribal Nation and Mossman and we also did a crocodile cruise massive crocodiles in Queensland we also had some fascinating experience while we visited Japukai an Aboriginal cultural center so we'd love to share that so overall please enjoy this series which will run for next few weeks. Cairns is a city located in the tropical far north of Queensland in Australia. It's a popular tourist destination known for its stunning natural beauty, diverse ecosystems and proximity to the Great Barrier Reef. This is one of our travel experiences pre-COVID, which we love to share as part of our recent Queensland series. We spent a couple of nights in Cairns. We have a lot to cover in this jam-packed video. From the Daintree Rainforest to Great Barrier Reef and to meet an Aboriginal artist who played the iconic Dijuradu breathlessly for 60 seconds. So let's join us to explore this part of the world. On a field nearby Cairns, we met hundreds of kangaroos in one place. That was just an amazing experience. So many kangaroos so close. In recent times, significant growth in kangaroo population has caused a lot of damage to the local agriculture. However, they are truly amazing creatures and true Australian icon. The city is surrounded by lush rainforests and national parks, making an excellent base for exploring the natural beauty of northern Queensland. We visited Daintree Rainforest, one of the oldest rainforests in the world, and the Mossman Gorge. Mossman Gorge is situated within the heart of the Daintree Rainforest, one of the oldest continuously surviving tropical rainforests on Earth. This rainforest is estimated to be around 135 million years old, making it even older than the Amazon rainforest. The gorge itself is formed by the Mossman River as it flows over granite boulders and through the lush greenery. The crystal clear waters of the river are surrounded by towering rainforest trees, creating a tranquil and picturesque setting.
The Mossman Gorge offers a variety of walking trails suitable for different fitness levels. The trails wind through the rainforest, offering opportunities to see ancient plant species, wildlife, and the impressive geological formation of the area. A crocodile cruise on the Daintree River is a popular activity for tourists visiting the Daintree Rainforest. The Daintree River is known for its diverse wildlife including the iconic saltwater crocodiles, which are a significant part of this river's ecosystem. We met a few massive crocodiles and one of them was Dusty, the killer one. Crocodile this size is not too concerned about us, as you can imagine. Now this is Scarface, the largest male in the area. Our guide was offering educational commentary throughout the cruise, sharing insight about the biology, behavior of the crocodiles, and the importance of the crocodiles in the ecosystem. Super exciting experience. Next, we went to Cape Tribulation. Cape Tribulation is a stunning coastal area located within the Dentry Rainforest. It's known for its breathtaking natural beauty, diverse ecosystems, and its significance as the place where the rainforest meets the reef. Cape Tribulation is situated approximately 110 kilometers north of Cairns. It's part of the Daintree National Park, which is a UNESCO World Heritage listed area. Due to its ancient rainforest and unique biodiversity, the area is known for its stunning landscape, including pristine beaches, lush rainforest clad mountains, crystal clear streams. The coastline features a picturesque view of the Coral Sea. One of Cairns' biggest attraction is its proximity to the Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest coral reef system. The city serves as a major gateway for tourists looking to explore this iconic natural wonder, with many tour operators offering snorkeling, scuba diving, boat trips to explore the reef's vibrant marine life and coral formations. Next day, we took a day cruise from Cairns to the Great Barrier Reef. It was a wet day, very wet day in Cairns, Coral Sea was rough, and we had a horrible ride on the Sun Lover Cruise. Ted, our cruise guide, explained a lot of information about the reef, but sorry, we didn't listen to him at all, because we were so busy looking after ourselves. But once we reached the JT or the platform at the reef, the rest of the day was memorable experience for the rest of our lives. We had an amazing glass bottom boat ride. Although the weather was not that great, but the view of the corals, the color of the corals was just breathtaking. The Great Barrier Reef is a UNESCO World Heritage listed natural wonder located in the Coral Sea off the coast of Queensland. It is the world's largest coral reef system, stretching over 2,300 kilometers and comprising thousands of individual reefs and islands. The reef is renowned for its stunning marine biodiversity, colorful coral formations, and crystal clear waters. It is home to a vast area of marine life, including various species of fish, corals, and other organisms. The Great Barrier Reef ecosystem provides essential habitats for many marine species and contributes significantly to the global marine biodiversity.
Coral reefs first appeared 485 million years ago. A coral reef is an underwater ecosystem characterized by reef building corals. Reefs are formed of colonies of coral polyps held together by calcium carbonate. Most coral reefs are built from stony corals whose polyps cluster in groups. And our first experience of snorkeling. Although it was a very upper level snorkeling, as we don't swim, but colorful underwater view of the reefs and the massive fishes swimming by, they were truly mesmerizing. In the last decade, there is a general awareness about the declining health condition of the Great Barrier Reef due to global warming, frequent bleaching of the reef, increasing number of algae and significant increase of tourism. United Nations Environmental Programme reports the coral reefs have an amazing capability to recover their growth if held by sustainable ecotourism and actions on global warming. After the amazing glass bottom boat ride, we went inside a chamber which was moving and submerged underwater. And the view from that chamber was just breathtaking as well. There was a viewing gallery as well, where you can sit and enjoy a very dynamic underwater sea life. Mostly very colorful fishes swimming around, very similar to our snorkeling experience. The yellow tailed fish are these, like little wormy crab planktons, we can barely see in the water. And the fish right in front, the, the medium sized dark one, the yellow fin near the head, right in the front top window, in the middle window, that's the surgeon fish. Return cruise to Cairns was a bit smoother as the low pressure system passed by then. Cairns is home to a diverse population that includes indigenous Australian communities as well as people from various cultural backgrounds. The region around Cairns holds significant cultural and historical importance for the local indigenous communities. We visited Japukai Aboriginal Cultural Centre. We met a lady at the centre who showed us the natural colours they used for the traditional face painting and the cape paintings, the world-renowned Aboriginal cape paintings of Australia over 40,000 years ago. I'm sure you know the Australian iconic musical instrument called Digiradu. At the centre we met an Aboriginal artist to play the iconic Digiradu breathlessly for a whole 60 seconds and we clocked that and it was just a mind-blowing experience. Artist was explaining how they create the sound and they play the Digiradu by using their vocal cord. <laughs> So friends, this was our eventful trip to Cairns in Queensland. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for upcoming videos of Queensland that we captured during our recent trip in 2023. We leave you with more fascinating music by these Aboriginal artists. Thanks for watching our travel videos. <laughs>